what's up productivity junkies, Darren Persinger here. I want to share with you guys today some stuff about marketing and sales and I know that we think that because we're in marketing and sales we know a lot about it and that marketing and sales doesn't work on us. We're aware of it. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time lately learning about, researching, reading about not necessarily marketing and sales but why we make decisions and how we make decisions, how the human mind works. And I think that's really interesting because that helps us with the marketing and sales. One of the things I picked up on, and pay attention to my Friday book reviews because I'll be talking about these kind of books moving forward, but one of the things I picked up on that I thought was really interesting was anchoring. Um, and this is for clothing lines, designers, high-end products and services. And so, like, one example is those high-end companies like Louis Vuitton or Prada or whatever, they actually generate, like, 90% of their revenue from trinkets, from, like, keychains or sunglasses. Things are, like, that are $100 to $200. They're not actually making a lot of revenue off of those high, the, the really, really expensive products because those expensive products serve as an anchor. So an example that they gave in this one book that I was reading were purses. These are my purses. Do you like my drawings or handbags or whatever they're called? I don't know anymore. Uh, I never did actually. But let's say that you walk, you're walking down the street um, and you see in front of like a Saks Fifth Avenue or a, a Prada store or something like that, you see a handbag, a purse, whatever we're calling it, and it, it's for $8,000, right? But then you get inside the store and you see another handbag for, um, for $1,200. This handbag just anchored what the price, what you thought it would be, and now all of a sudden this is a good deal, right? So this is why you see in marketing, a price is this thing, but now it's been reduced to this. The reason why I'm sharing this with you is anchoring can work with you or can work against you in real estate sales. And what I mean by that is as you're talking to a seller, as you're talking to a seller about properties, about getting their home sold, we're gonna make this a house now. These are the homes in the neighborhood and here's a home for $450,000 and here's a home for $380,000 and they're basically the same home this home is just set an anchor in the marketplace and this allows this home to sell quicker and for that price closer to that, right? So here's the thing, you're either the listing agent that has this home and you've set an anchor that's way too high that's going to help sell everything else or you're this one and you come in and you've been able to educate and share with your seller why we need to list below and what this anchor is because you share with them you know, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, all the agents are going to bring people to your property if we list at $450,000 to show them this one and then go sell them something else. Like, hey, if you like this one for four fifty, dollars wait until I show you this one for $380,000. So this is how anchoring, whether you're aware of it or not, or you're doing it or not, you probably are doing it and you're just not aware of it, but this is how anchoring would work in real estate sales. Use your listing presentations as an opportunity to not just present, not just sell, but use it as an opportunity to educate the seller on the market and on marketing.